Fine. Good afternoon. My name is Antra, and I worked uh, in pair with uh, Ivo Metzer from the Netherlands, and the company we visited uh, is called West Motors. Uh, this was the only company, I think, on the program uh, which, where the name didn't suggest what the company is doing, right? Uh, can you recall uh, your first uh, thought when you saw West Motors in the program? Uh, was it Toyota? You live in Latvia, you, you have to know, but uh, th those of you who don't. N now you see, of course, uh, it's about cars, right? Uh, and uh, there are uh, probably two reasons, main reasons, why we were there, why this company was chosen. Uh, one reason is uh, the severe environment in which this company is operating. Uh, just to show you a few figures, if we take a pass of 10 years, this is 2000, this is 2010, here we have uh, 2007. In 2000, uh, sales uh, of new cars in Latvia was uh, 7,500 units. Here, in 2007, I don't have enough space, in fact, in pla uh, place, 32,500. That's more than four times more. The growth uh, in between was like this. And then, in 2010, it's 3,500. That's market drop like this. Uh, in addition, this business is very investment intense business, very expensive business to be in. And one more thing uh, characterizing the environment in which they are working is the uh, uh, size of uh, the market. 3,500 cars, new cars per year, is exactly 1,000 times less than the number of cars sold in Germany. 1,000 times less. So, so a very, very small market. At the same time, this company, uh, in spite of all this uh, severe environment, is doing very well. Uh, they are the ones who are taking a chance and using crisis to gain market share. They are growing, market is falling, they are growing. They are getting stronger. And uh, we believe that uh, they will be the ones uh, who survive and who go out of the crisis being uh, stronger while other companies die, they stop existing. And uh, West Motors will be the one uh, using this uh, opportunity to uh, strengthen. So uh, to be very short, I will uh, cover the part uh, so to say, a hard part of, of uh, the presentation based on facts that the company provided us, just to show you what they are doing, what they say they are doing. And then Ivo will help me with a soft part of it uh, when we will share a couple of impressions of the visit. And, and we hope very much that our uh, group mates will help us if uh, there will be something uh, that they want to add. Uh, so, uh, about the company, uh, in a couple of words. Uh, West Motors is just one of the companies belonging to the West Group. There is a pretty big group of companies, uh, almost 20 years old. They were among the first ones who started uh, business when it was allowed in Latvia to start a business. 10, 20 years ago, we regained our uh, independence, and uh, just after that, uh, uh, chairman of the council was one of the first businessmen in Latvia. They were selling cosmetics, they were uh, doing security stuff, and uh, uh, they entered the warehouse business and uh, many other things which don't exist anymore. And they said that they just stopped doing it one uh, moment in a time uh, to concentrate on a core competence, uh, to concentrate uh, on uh, business. At the moment, uh, what they are doing, they are full service, uh, used uh, cars, new cars, uh, part sales, service, consultancy, and uh, some other businesses. Uh, the oldest uh, brand they are owning 
uh, if we can use the word, is uh, Toyota. They are authorized uh, dealers of Toyota since uh, 92. And uh, the last one they uh, added just last year, in 2009, uh, it is uh, Honda, but they don't sell Honda, they repair Honda. Uh, here we see uh, other companies of the group. Uh, we were told about uh, these first uh, five ones, which uh, comprise the core business of the company. All the others, they said, are uh, supportive uh, businesses, complementary businesses. So uh, just uh, to give you an impression, if you haven't uh, realized on your way uh, from the airport uh, how they look like, uh, the center they opened uh, in 2001, Toyota Center, uh, Umanigatwa, where we were, was the biggest and the most modern uh, dealer center in Latvia. They said, uh, benchmark for all the other dealers uh, and uh, at the moment they have uh, Toyota there where we were on Ulmanigatma, uh, Lexus and uh, BMW, uh, three separate buildings in the same uh, location and one more uh, Toyota center uh, not, uh, other way out of Riga. Uh, okay, uh, this is strategy value creation through diversification, uh, a couple of values and uh, goals uh, they provided us with, and the market change. Uh, I already characterized that a bit. Uh, the most severe drop, 80% just in one year, 2009 in comparison with 2008, and it is still worsening. They uh, predict that 2010 is going to be about uh, 10 to 30, they don't know yet, uh, percent less than it was uh, in 2009. Uh, rapidly increasing competition. At the same time, uh, the some figures show, I just started. <laughs> Okay, what will be? Uh, they are doing much uh, better than uh, the market itself, and uh, as I said, uh, gaining uh, market share. And uh, maybe just uh, to save time and to stop here, we uh, switch to the uh, impressions part, and, and uh, Ivo will help me as a newcomer to this country. Uh, I, I know the company very well, Ivo, so it's uh, the first time. So, what were the main impressions you had? Okay, thank you. Um, for me, the, the company is new. Uh, I'm for the emotional part. I have some petrol in my blood, so I love, <laughs> love cars. Uh, and the main issue I, which I see in, in, in the world with people of uh, uh, car dealers is they they love cars, but they don't love customers. They don't love also their employees. And in this company, you can see that uh, that uh, number one is the customer, and number two is also uh, the employee. And I think that's more a cultural aspect of this company. It's very very strong, and you can think about all kind of strategies and all kind of. Uh, positioning or brands, etc. But I think the main issue of this company is that they love their own people and they love their customer. <clears throat> so they have less uh, uh, petrol in their blood than I have, may maybe. Um, what's also very nice is that they have also an another way of defining their market. Uh, mostly the, they def you define a market in car sales, or new car sales, and that's also your market share. You can measure it in, in, in selling your new cars. And they also define their market in units in operation, so all cars driving in this country. And uh, in the crisis, uh, you, you sell uh, less new cars, but the cars in operation is the same, of course. And there's an increasing market in repair, in painting, etc. So they uh, call, and it's also very nice, uh, uh, they call their company a clinic for cars. A clinic for cars, and with the main issue is to, to, to serve customers. Clinic, serving customers, I think that's really the main issues of this, of this very nice company. Um, well, maybe I, I don't, but what you see in this, the, the main issue for the future is scale, 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 and again, scale. And that can also be the, 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 tra the trap in it, because I think this market will increase again, 
maybe 2012, really a boosting market because a lot of a lot of cars are very old. 77% uh, of the cars are older than 10 years, so there must be an increasing market for new cars. And then their higher uh, market share can be decreasing in the lower. Uh, 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 market share, and then when everyone, uh, everyone is competing on scale, then you come maybe again in a sort of low cost competition and have declining margins. Maybe is that that's the difficult for the for, for, for the for the uh, uh, future. But in this case, uh, I think uh, um, well, we talked to the to three three people of the management, very professional management, very very good, also graduates from this school, this school, I think. And um, uh, very good in, in, in analyzing this market, and also very good in really for the employees and for the customers, also to ask the customers, their, their own employees, to decrease their income to make a lower cost service to the customers. Well, that when you can manage that, I think it's very, very good. Thing to add, I think uh, that. This company is doing exactly the opposite uh, now in a crisis than many other companies. Uh, if we see many other, they uh, see in crisis, they shrink, they, they get rid of people, they uh, cut costs in all possible ways, uh, including closing uh, sites and, and, and things like that. Uh, they understand that in this investment in terms of business, the only uh, way for them to survive is to speed up. And they use all, every single small opportunity to speed up. As far as legislation changed and uh, they saw an opportunity to add uh, BMW to their portfolio, they did it. As far as they see something else, uh, they, they do it and uh, they open this, this new center, which is in Bergi, uh, already in crisis, 2008. Uh, at the same time, uh, many uh, others were closing uh, their sites down. But this other site helps them to provide uh, higher quality of service, uh, speed, and so on. And, and that is one of the reasons uh, they, they, they are getting. Yes, they, their mar margins have shrinked very, very, very much. But, but uh, they, they believe that it is uh, for a better future and, and that they, they will be the ones who will succeed. And uh, also, one, one more very little comment, very soft management style, I think, that we are absorbed at least. Uh, not, not, not soft uh, in terms of, of uh, absolute democracy, but soft in terms of uh, handling their people. Right? And uh, I, I see Virginius is, is ready to, to add something, aren't you? If, if uh, may, because just, you, you are uh, in the group as well. Yeah, just one small comment, you know. So yesterday when we've been discussing during a, a, a coffee World Cafe uh, exercise, we'll be discussing can we learn or, or why we cannot learn, you know, from the other mistakes. We've been saying that one of the reasons why we cannot is what we are very often do not respect uh, other people and do not able to or are not able to listen to other people. So this company a perfect example how they are able to hear their customers and employees not only using the ear but also using using all body you know so it, it, it it's feeling us but you know they are really you know following each movement of the customers needs and also employees so it was complete respect complete they even put it in their goals you know uh, uh, as one of their main goals to win the respect and trust from their customers so and they are really living by that so it was really impressive to see that we heard also an example uh, when the general manager has asked uh, permission uh, uh, to his mechanics uh, to cut uh, salaries just because there are customers who cannot afford to pay the price that they had to pay before. And, and he, he said, uh, he asked, what, what should we do? Should we get uh, rid of those customers, send them away, and serve only the ones having money? Or should we uh, share uh, this risk? And uh, he got the permission, and, and uh, no one objection uh, followed. So that's the way, just, just a little characteristic of their style of management. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank